Five things a poet needs to know to create beautiful and evocative poetry. Poetry is about flow, in a very similar way to music. Um, I think it's easy to remember things like iambic pentameter from when we were at school, or the fact that, you know, um, people tend to perceive poetry a lot of the time as rhyming. You're a poet and you don't even know it. But poetry is really more about the flow of emotion from someone um, that they're trying to share, which will perhaps provoke emotional responses from other people. So a lot of the time when I write, and, and a lot of what I write isn't poetry, but I do write poetry, a lot of the time when I write, I think of it as a, as a block of clay, essentially, that you are shaping. And you can add clay and remove clay, but the idea is that you are smoothing that down to flow it. And I think that for poetry to be truly effective and beautiful, it has to flow. Poetry is an expression of um, depth from within. I believe poetry works best when it's a, a, a deep part of you that you're bringing forth connected to your soul. It's not so much about creating visuals, um, which is how a lot of writing often works in terms of scenes, but it, it's everything about creating emotions. Poetry isn't really about understanding, and it's not really about seeing, it's about feeling, and that comes from deep within you. Poetry is the music of the written word. It's not about control. It's about expression. Beautifully crafted poetry can be extremely precise, but I've also read poetry that is very loose and has evoked powerful emotions as well. I think um, sometimes you, you also get more from hinting or talking around a subject than you do from describing that subject directly. So expressing yourself and having this kind of musical quality to it, which again um, links to flow, I think is extremely important. Poetry is the music of our words. Poetry is a realisation of our ability to find meaning and find beauty. It's something that humans are very good at. We create art, we find meaning and purpose in things. It's the basis for our narratives and stories. But sometimes we need more, and that's where we have music, and that's where we have poetry the ways of expressing that meaning and beauty in a micro-narrative, in, in a tiny story in the bustle of our lives, which brings something to a poignant understanding of purpose, or lack of purpose. It will mean something different to everyone who experiences it. Poetry is vulnerability. You expose your own beauty, your despair, all of the things within you to the core. And the more you feel it, the more others will feel it as well. It is authentic. It is a truth. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Sometimes Simplicity can be the most vulnerable of all. Your eyes.
looking into mine. Agony in their absence.